we are joined for the balance of the hour and perhaps a little bit into the next hour to take your calls. Behind the green mask, UN Agenda 21, Rosa Corey, uh, the best short uh, primer uh, at only, you know, 170-something pages long or 169 pages long. Great uh, piece to break down how it works, how they do it, and she's real to the point, focused, well-researched, everything she talks about, because, you know, I've been on this for 17 years, Gen 21, right after it happened 20 years ago. I've been, I've been covering it on air for almost 18. I can tell you, this lady knows her stuff and focuses on it full-time, so knows more than I do, because she specializes in it. She's on it right now. And I said, what's the latest? They're counter-offensive of disinformation, a new hoax saying there is no Agenda 21 or it's a loving thing. Uh, they're uh, in run in. We're going to go over all of it and just how big this is. But listen, under UNESCO, set up by the uh, transhumanist who wasn't really a transhumanist, he founded it, a eugenicist, Aldous Huxley's brother, Julian Huxley, on record set it up to take over the planet. It runs your, your, you know, your, your toilet, uh, how big it can be, your light bulbs, what type, cigarette bands, plastic bag bands, all these things that sound reasonable, they admit were to set the precedent so they are in control. This is global zoning, and then it's we're going to shut down your power plants. We're not going to let you build. We're going to tear up your roads. And the good news is we're countering them everywhere, but they are now counter-offensing. They're now in a counter-offensive, and people have to understand it. It's who wants it most. They're always going to come back. We've got to come back. And it's fun to fight them. It's not like, oh, gosh, they're coming back again. It's fun. You're meant to go to city council or the state house and route them. And a lady who's traveling all over the country and who is on fire is Rosa Coria. Again, her book, Discounted, ready for you to give to your entire county commissioners, your city council, your state house. For those of you that want to be able to keep our free market system in prosperity, you better support us and Rosa and, 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 and yourself and buy a hundred of these. And don't just give them to your city council, your county commissioners. Give them to your pastors. Give them to opinion makers because you in America brainwashes all the best and brightest college students, high school students. They recruit them. My first film covers this and shows it. That's how they take over. We have to mimic their tactics, but we use the truth. They use lies. And so uh, Rosa Corey uh, joins us in studio. And it's the postsustainabilityinstitute.org is one place to visit her. Also, Democrats Against Agenda 21. I am fired up to have you here, Rosa, to give us the state of the war with the U.N. and the private megabanks that created it and uh, are imploding the planet with it. Thank you for joining us. I'm so glad to be with you. It's really great to be here. It's fantastic to have you. So, so I mean, start rolling with what you were telling me out there, the latest breaking info. They're counteroffensive. Well, you know, obviously, uh, they're, uh, they're completely shocked. They're back on their heels because here we are, you know, people are recognizing that this is something that they want to fight. And uh, when you're out there and you're, you know, you're at your city council meeting or you're, uh, you know, you're, you're visiting, um, you know, some planning commission meeting or you're at your kids school and you're talking about what's going on you really want to understand the big picture and so this is obviously there's a lot of disinformation going on to fight us and there are people right on the ground right in your neighborhood that are out there working against you so you want to be aware and one thing that's going on this is sort of funny <clears throat> in a way is the united nations association una usa uh, they're executive director has just written an open letter to the legislators of uh, like nine states and these are the states that are actually launching legislation to fight agenda 21 saying that we do not want to have anything to do with agenda 21 and this guy I posted this on my blog so that people can see it it's actually a, a propaganda letter to the legislators saying hey you know there's nothing to worry about here you know uh, hey uh, basically why are you wasting our time why are you wasting precious legislative time on this non-binding uh, agreement and the truth is that it is in every single piece of legislation it is in federal state and local and we're showing this now from unusa.org right when you said it we punched it up it's on the front of their site a foreign globalist corporate group is literally here trying to block us at the legislatures blocking them and the southern poverty law center is coming out re with reports 
saying anyone that talks about it is a terrorist. And get this, the LA Times said it does not exist, Rosa. So, so, so that's how done they think their readers are. It yeah. doesn't exist, Rosa, but their organization is here fighting us. Right. It's funny because it's all over the Los Angeles general plan. You know, I mean, literally it is in plan for every city in the United States. It's in all of your plans, all of your schools. It's in Common Core. You'll see it throughout uh, your, your legislative documents. And this is the reality, even though it's a, yes, it was a non-binding document. Yes, it's 20 years old, but it was implemented in the United States through the president. But explain, when you sign off on it, HUD and all the agencies then bring you taxpayer money. They finance oh, it. Definitely, yes, because this is what they do. They impoverish the cities. The cities are crashed. The economy is collapsed. The cities are desperate for money. They're like, please give us some money. And the feds say, hey, sure, we'll give you the Partnership for Sustainable Communities funds. You'll get grants if you put smart growth in every part of your center. And they tell all the top college people, all the top executives at companies, all the top kids in high school, we're going to pay for you to be flown to New York. We're going to make you part of the UN. And that's how they've got basically oh, yeah. everybody. They tell Miss USA, you will not win unless you thank the UN. That's right. UN USA is a, they actually create mock summits that they put on at, uh, at schools, at high schools and colleges where they train you in Agenda 21. Meanwhile, of course, it's, it doesn't exist, right? Meanwhile, people are being trained in it. They are being, uh, planners are actually being propagandized to, to talk to, uh, uh elected officials and planning departments and say, hey, Agenda 21 is nothing to worry about. This is a huge disinformation campaign, but we are fighting it all across the world. And by the way, my film America Destroyed by Design that I shot in 96 put out in uh, 2000, uh, that I shot in 96 put out in 1997, I'm going to show for TV viewers clips of that where I went to model UN at, at the University of Texas with the high school kids where open communism was being taught. Yeah. I mean, they were openly, but, but again, this corporate communism. Go ahead. Yeah, it's a corporatocracy. This is, you know, check it out. What globalization really is, is the standardization of systems. It's creating total uniformity, right? So that all systems are brought into uniformity, into har they call it harmonizing, harmonization. And so that means, what is corporation, what does a corporation want? They want open borders, they want uh, no regulation, and they want low wage workers they want large markets that they can uh, sell their goods in. This is what globalization is all about. It makes you part of the standardized world. And this is taking all of your information and creating a web of it. So, so you're blind, out. but they can see everything, everything controlled by a giant global authoritarian technocracy, Rosa Corey. I'm Darren McBreen, and these are some of the new items that are available now at InfoWarsShop.com. Alert the public to Obama's blatant abuse of power with the new Obama t-shirt. Obama's joker face on the front and come and take it on the back. It's time to publicly call him out for what he is, a tyrant. Defend the Second Amendment with our top seller come and take it t-shirts. And look at that, women's cut tank tops and t-shirts now available. Nice hat. Plus, the Don't Tread on Me flag. And now you can become a micro distributor of the InfoWars magazine. Plus, get your own copy delivered right to your door each and every month. And if you're tired like I am of you and your family being exposed to polluted drinking water, get the Pro One High Performance Water Filter. It gets rid of all pathogenic bacteria, cyst, fluoride, heavy metals, and numerous other contaminants. So join the revolution at InfoWarsShop.com. Uh, but again, thank you for joining us. Rosa Corey, uh, anti-New World Order, pro-liberty activist. Uh, who ran into these people in, in, in uh, California, getting in the way of what she was doing. That's how she discovered what they were up to because of her training as a forensic commercial real estate appraiser specializing in eminent domain valuation and a lot more. Uh, and for TV viewers, I'm going to roll some of an online version. It's better on the DVD that we obviously sell of America Destroyed by Design of where I went to a model UN meeting. That's just part of the two-hour film. 
uh, because I mean they are brainwashing the children right now while saying to the adults this doesn't exist. They're telling your kids all their guns need to be turned in, saying bang bang with a you know uh, their fingers they can be thrown out. They're giant re-education centers. That's not a figure of speech. And you've also got what their futurists are pushing for, how they intend to impoverish everybody. Uh, so Rosa Corey, start out with what you were talking about with the education. Yeah, basically what we're looking at is uh, schools are not about uh, teaching you information. They're, this is this is really a behavioral modification program. This is about changing people's behaviors. And so children are being indoctrinated from the time that they're in pre-kindergarten all the way to post through postgraduate school and, uh, you know, taught that uh, basically they're killing the planet and that it's their responsibility to save it. So to create that kind of stress in a child, of course, you can imagine what kind of stress Stress that is, and also uh, standardization of systems then is required in elementary schools all the way through uh, postgraduate, where kids are being told that uh, they have to learn a certain way and certain things and that and they will be tested we're looking at people who are actually being tested on their mental health this is really what's going on in schools this is how people are being uh, evaluated mental health evaluations you'll see these happiness surveys and this is all about you know and that's new freedom it's the, the new prison is to get you in the criminal justice or mental system right and of course you know prisons are the great public private partnerships they get a a lot of money for prisons. There's restrictions on uh, on how people are moved through the system, on what you can do in the prisons or giant re-education camps. Oh, absolutely, and so are schools. You know, because hey, you can't not go to school if you don't want to. Even the homeschooling. You know, if you're using curriculum from uh, you know that standardized curriculum, you are actually training your children in the new world order this is what this is and about. they make you do that they're not accredited and exactly my kids are homeschooled and most of the big materials out there it's all michelle obama says this yeah mm -hmm. and of course you know you'll see that in i mean this is so pervasive don't allow this to uh you know to to stymie you don't be uh, paralyzed by it because we are fighting back of course all over the world and you're not going to see it in the mainstream press because that's also huge corporate ownership in the mainstream press so they're still putting out the disinformation that, oh no, this stuff doesn't really exist and this is just a figment of your fantasy tinfoil hat head, right? But the reality is, is that yes, we are really fighting back all over the world. And you know, something that's happening is that kids are being taught there is no such thing as objective reality, that you cannot know what is real. And uh, something like that is so evil to do to a child, to in fact change mathematics so that it doesn't have the certainty that it should have. And instead, well, it's your it's your opinion. No, they've designed it. I've interviewed the former head of education. They were there to dumb them down. Yes. I mean, it's there to screw them up. The, the, the test scores aren't dropping by accident. No, it's reinventing. They are so-called reinventing mathematics. And, you know, Charlotte Isserby, she is fabulous. Of course, I know you've interviewed her. She has a conference that's about to come out on DVD, a phenomenal conference of educators that is going to be talking about the reality about what is happening now in the school systems. Because when people are subjected to this kind of disinformation as young children, they are lost to us. You know, those of us who are older need to pull in and restrict the, impl the implementation of this plan on our children. And, of course, we're seeing this. The futurists, you know, you were talking about futurists. Futurists are out there, um, you know, especially in Silicon Valley. You're being told that, uh, you know, the technocracy is so powerful that it's actually crafting uh, new government. And the city-state will now rise as the most powerful government. So we're looking at uh, the restrictions on, uh, on representative government that are going to come longer and longer and stronger and stronger until we are literally pushed into these city-state mega regions and have no representational, uh, no influence on what happens to our, our government. And how do they push you in? Well, it's fabulous how the, this is a brilliant plan, honestly, a brilliant plan, because what they're doing is they're moving people out of suburban and rural areas through uh, funding uh, mechanisms where they push smart growth, which is high density development, on the city centers and then kill the suburbs and the rural areas with restrictions on on uh, water, on development, on police. Uh, they, they charge you more for your electricity, everything. We're going to come right back and break down how they plan to put us uh, in their concentration camp cities.
while we fight to retain our liberty, while we fight to expose globalism, we have to realize we're talking about a very powerful combination of power. Renowned author and expert Joel Skousen breaks down the globalist plan to shut down America and stage a new world war. In one day, America will go from day to night. And if you haven't prepared in advance, there's not enough time to prepare in 24 hours, even if you saw it that early. Coming to the Info War in November is our new documentary film presentation. Strategic relocation is a systematic way to think strategically in the future about how do I safeguard. Joel Skousen, Strategic Relocation. The freeways are going to be crowded, they're going to run out of gasoline, they're going to run out of food, and then they're going to start to go north and south of those freeways. Joel Skousen is renowned as one of the world's foremost experts in strategic relocation and the securing of your home. We talk about natural disasters, the health environment, we talk about pollution, the water quality. My personal experience about being in every one of these states. Government is digging in for the organized incremental collapse of society and world war. The U.S. isn't building huge underground bases and bunkers because of some terrorist threat. They know that a massive nuclear attack is coming. They want that attack to come. Most people won't even be ready and won't be able to get out of town when any of these nuclear weapons fall because there'll be absolute panic. There is no preparedness without strategy. What I tell people uh, is that you do have time. Prepare wisely in advance. This Christmas, give the gift of preparedness. Strategic Relocation, the film, with Joel Skousen and Alex Jones. really an amazing person, Rosa Corey. I, I admire people that are already successful in their own life, their own business, uh, and then get run over by tyranny and stand up and fight it. And if she has just reached millions and millions and millions of people and reached hundreds of counties and cities and traveled all over. She's an example of what you can do, even on a small level, to fight these people. And they always act like they can't be beaten. They always laugh and say, you know, there's nothing going on, there's nothing happening. That's just a stalling tactic, and it's not working anymore. We're going to go back to her in a moment, and I'm going to ask her how she thinks they're going to handle that. But first off, let's look at DrudgeReport.com. Uh, Infowars.com has some of this reporting, but uh, really the up-to-the-minute, minute-by-minute updating is at DrudgeReport.com on Obama in Israel. Obama faces battle to woo Israeli public, global cooling. Bethlehem uh, rioters set fire to picture of Obama. White House uh, map erases Jerusalem. Obama, Netanyahu trade... Uh, banter as they uh, tread a new red line, saying, you know, they've got to attack Syria that they've set up. I mean, it's an act that they're fighting with each other, ladies and gentlemen. That's all for public consumption. Shadow war rages as limo breaks down. What is this, North Korea? And it just goes on and on. And then I was looking at the other headlines where the head of the IMF, uh, who said that, you know, Europeans should work six, seven days a week, but she's exempt from the taxes. Uh, how do you pronounce her name? I always say Lagarde, but it's a Lagarde. The point is, is that the police have raided her. They raided Sarkozy. They raid everybody. I mean, it's just all a bunch of crooks. And, and, and you know, the, the last uh, guy that was the head of the IMF, of course, uh, you know, what he was doing was posing in a hotel room. But that was a setup. And then uh, Sarkozy put out tweets before he'd even been arrested, showing that he was running the whole thing. I mean, it just seems to never end how crazy... All of this is at Feinstein on Reed dropping gun ban. Major betrayal of trust. I mean, this is all a, a scam, acting like they've been beaten. They have the bill now out of the Senate committees to register all your guns and ban gun shows and not let you give a gun to your dad or your son or your brother uh, so they can then confiscate them all. By the way, I've never asked you your opinion, your view on the Second Amendment, because even if people can see there's problems with guns sometimes, once a lot of liberals, and I know you've been a Democrat, uh, no Democrats against 1021, once they see the real tyranny, they go, oh, now I know why there's the Second Amendment. I'm, I'm not condescending because I don't really know your, uh, your view on it, but I mean, so many Democrats I know just think of it as a prerequisite to be a liberal that you're anti-gun. I think Thomas Jefferson was pro-gun, and he's pretty, you know, <laughs> really about as liberal as it gets. What is your view on the Second Amendment, Rosa Corey? Mm, well, I had my own guns from the time I was nine years old. 
old, um, my dad took me to the range, and uh, and uh, I support the Second Amendment. I think it's important that we uh, that we do. Uh, have an opportunity to defend ourselves. That government that we have is there to defend our individual rights. That's the only reason to have a government. When your government becomes a communitarian government, such as the one that we have, that we're morphing into, um, we need to rethink how we, how, what our relationship to our government is. And I think the Second Amendment is very important and I support it. Absolutely. And I mean, that's really the litmus test for people out there. Uh, even if you don't like guns, you need to understand the power structure wants to disarm you. The UN has its treaty right now to disarm the general population. That is their, that is their admitted goal. Uh, Rosa, uh, a plug for the book. You know, I sell it at InfoWars.com and InfoWarsStore.com. Of course, you wrote it, you sell it at your site. However people get it, whether it's on Amazon, you name it, they need to get it. And, and who do they give it to? Because my listeners know all this stuff. They've checked it out, most of them. Uh, they can always learn something from the book. But this is a tool. Who, who do you recommend we give this to? You know, it's a cool thing that you just asked me that because I just got an order from a woman who's a, a representative, a, a, a state legislator in Washington State. She just uh, arranged to have 147 books, uh, which is the number of legislators they have, sent to all the legislators in Washington State. And uh, the book's gone out to every sheriff in California. Someone uh, did a sheriff's project, and they're working in other states. It's very important that people understand what this is. This is a big picture book because, uh, you know, Agenda 21, yes, it is an old document. It is being implemented all across the United States and the world. So people need to see what it looks like because it's not called Agenda 21. You know, right here in Texas, I mean, you've got many different names for it. You're going to see it as smart growth. It, New Hampshire, they call it Granite State Future. It's uh, Sustainable Communities Partnerships. I mean, very many names for it. You'll never see it as Agenda 21. You need to be able to recognize it. And that's one reason why when legislators, uh, you know, start to make bans against Agenda 21, it's very important that people understand what they're looking at because you can have a state law in place but if you don't know that that state law applies to your general plan that you've just passed there in your small town in Bastrop, Texas or whatever, you know, if you don't understand that then you're not going to know that there's actually a state legislation against what's happening in your town. Well, I mean, to explain what it is, for people that don't know, the very banks bankrupting and imploding Europe by design. Mm -hmm. At the end of World War II, England and the United States had won, but the robber barons had won. Not really America. They'd beaten one tyranny, replaced it with another. They created the UN as a global government model on record to take over the world and create collectivism to secure the elite's control. So a fake kind of leftism. And, and also take over the right. And that's what it is, and that's what they're doing now. Now, you got interrupted by the break a while back. Describe how they're going to force people out of the rural areas, because when they say sustainable, they mean the opposite of sustainability, mm -hmm. because there's a lot of stuff that's good that's called sustainable, but but that's not their sustainable. So explain what their master plan is, how they're counter-striking, what the world will look like if they succeed. Yeah, what's unsustainable? You know, according to the UN, it's private vehicles, private uh, single-family homes, meat eating, and here we are in Texas, hope you like your barbecue, right? And uh, uh, air conditioning, um, these are things that are considered to be unsustainable in the world. And so when you're out there, now think about this. You say, nobody's coming to get me in my rural, you know, I've got my spread out there. Nobody's coming out there to get me. But the way that it happens is that you get charged vehicle miles travel taxes for your car. So if you're traveling a long distance. Property taxes. Your tax. They tear up your road. No water. They you, shut off the local power plant. You're going to have metering on your private wells. You're going to have restrictions. Your roads in, in my county, in Sonoma County, California, they're destroying county roads because they say there's not enough money because federal money goes to pave roads that are in urbanized areas. Yeah, they actually destroy the roads. They're destroying Oh, no, we're not going to leave it for you. We're going we're to destroy it. They're turning them to gravel because they say they're not going to be able to maintain them. And this is like a, over a thousand miles of roads that they're planning to do this to. So this is how it happens. You see, it's not, they close your rural roads and your suburban schools. Uh, you're, you know, they close you out of the uh, of the areas that you've been living in, and then uh, they they don't maintain the infrastructure. So when people move out of there, there's not enough property. And, and Australia is about five years ahead of us. They're doing that there in earnest. Oh, Australia is is terrible. I mean, obviously people are really dealing with it all across the world. This is not just a United States thing. I was 
was interviewed on uh, Red Ice Radio, which is uh, based in Northern Europe. And, you know, they, they were under the impression that this is some kind of a United States program. No, it is not. ICLE, the International Council on Local Environmental Initiatives, is everywhere. They say they... Uh, Germany, by 2020, it's now law, has banned single home dwellings and has put taxes on it to penalize you. Mm -hmm. They're now talking about a one-child policy in Europe when Europe's already dying. Yeah, I mean, we're looking at towns like Freiburg, uh, Germany, which is considered to be the sort of poster child for new urbanism, uh, high-density development, where they've removed the roads and literally there are no roads there. You, you've got little bicycle paths and if you, you know, I, I don't know where where they go when it snows, but uh, you know people are being restricted in how they live. This is social engineering. It's behavioral modification, and this is very important to know because you are being indoctrinated all the time through the press, through your schools, through your place of business, through your uh, your entire system. And it all sounds good because once they get you to accept, oh, okay, we'll use less water. Now they're going to say this, this, and that. Let me punch this up. Uh, it was covered by CBS News last week. The man for releasing a couple of heart-shaped balloons is facing five years in jail for each crime of damaging the environment and uh, they have arrested him the state police did because they saw the balloons being released uh, the third degree felony at least five years in jail per balloon 40 year old man no criminal record uh, again uh, in Australia battery on the ground your kid drops five years in jail mm -hmm. the green police uh, the Audi commercial where they're arresting everybody they later admitted no that's what we're going to do uh -huh. the, the, the San Francisco mayor bragged no that was produced here that's part of behavior modification they admit it's brainwashing yeah more things are going to be crime and this is you know you want to see what it's looking like what it's going to look like this is artificial scarcity it's restriction on your use on your ability to live free it's making more things crime so that you know pretty soon like I was afraid to go to Singapore I thought geez I know I'm gonna do something that's against the law this is the city-state the rise of the city-state the mega region where literally you are being restricted in how you live and this is uh, what agenda 21 is about they admit and this is in the Austin market statesman that they've doubled the power prices the last five years they're gonna double again but the government district and what is seen as the managing district the downtown and territory town is exempt from power outages and the power increases and they said but all of you outside the city that live wrong mm -hmm. you're penalized there it is yeah the grid is really all about Austin this. is a model UN city yeah. yes this is you know this is really what it's about this the entire system is set up like this where the grid is part of it smart growth smart meters all these smart things don't trust this smart stuff because what this is is a restriction artificial scarcity, a movement away from the way that you've been living, and monitoring on every aspect of your life. This is domestic surveillance. When we're looking at National Defense Authorization Act, we're looking at uh, drones, we're looking at the way that you are literally being surveilled. How about 23andMe, where uh, you're going to spit into a cup and give them your DNA? And this is Google, owned by Google. You, don't, you literally won't own your own genes. The human genome has been mapped, and you don't own your own. They've been taking blood for 41 years in all industrialized nations for a UN database that they just now admitted they have and Google is all part of it look at this from the Sun Sentinel after watching the romantic gesture the Florida Highway Patrol trooper who uh, instead noted probable cause for an environmental crime Bransfield was charged with polluting to harm humans animals plants etc under the Florida Air and Water Pollution Control Act and he, again, is facing five years per count her balloon, and they're they're going to probably end up putting him in jail. Yeah, I wonder if uh, you know this was uh, to propose to his girlfriend, right? So are they going to let him have conjugal visits in prison? Unbelievable. You know, I mean, this. But is I mean, it, I mean, they're hiring cops now that literally. I mean, they get off on hurting innocent people. You know, have you, if you look at the way police police officers, first of all, are terrified. You know, they're they're out there uh, suited up like that because they are afraid of us. And why are they afraid? Because they are creating. You know, when you've got police officers in public meetings, when they come in and they ring the walls of a public meeting because you might say something because you're being delphied and you don't like it. You know, this is yeah. Describe. We've had our guys thrown out of meetings. Meetings being polite 
where they say they're public, but as soon as we ask questions, they walk over and, and follow a playbook and then go, you're causing a problem. Get out of here. <laughs> Officers, I want them out. Yeah, you know, uh, I've been chased down an aisle while I was holding a mic, and I said, what are you, you going to arrest him? Arrest me because I'm saying something? This is the way it's going now. In fact, I've got on my blog right now on Democrats Against UN Agenda 21, I've got uh, a post from New Hampshire where these people went into a New Hampshire meeting and they anti-Delphied it. All they did was literally just talk Talk about what was going We've got on. the side up. What do we punch up and we'll uh, go to go it? To, uh, let's see, go to the way we see it, our blog. The Should way we that. see it. Yeah, click on that. And uh, it's a New Hampshire listens project from Granite State. Uh, New and Hampshire. that means Delphi. We're going to do what we want. Explain Delphi. Well, Delphi is uh, it's a RAND Corporation mind control technique being used by the American plan. And they admit that. Oh, yeah. You're not just saying mind control. No, no, no. no. This they is mind control. That. Yeah, yeah. No, that's the purpose of it. This was what it's about is to bring groups of people to a predetermined outcome while giving them the, the idea that it was, you know, giving them the impression. So false. All synthesis. It's all your idea. You know, oh, yeah, we love your thoughts. We want to hear what you think. But meanwhile, if you don't agree, don't show up. These people were accused of crashing a public meeting. Can you believe that? You can't crash a public meeting when you're the public. But because they were New Hampshire uh, Tea Party people, they're considered to be a special interest. And they're not, and they're crashing. Oh, yeah, they're the terrorists. They're, yeah, they're, and that's They're right. not a stakeholder. No. Only <laughs> stakeholder groups are allowed. That's right. And you're, you know, none of us are stakeholders. Stakeholders, and that's what's really a mind blower is that they go in way years in advance. 2002, you know, for a 2012 program, they go in 10 years early and they identify. Oh, listen, we, we've run into it in East Texas with our property. Oh, sure. They have local operatives who move in, mm -hmm. have a grant, act yes. like a local. Yeah. A lot of times they're a retired colonel, you name it. Yeah. And they run psyops and go, I won't report you for that barn if you work with me to shut down the coal mine. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's like mafia. Oh, yeah, I've seen this. You know, Alex, I do travel all over the United States, and I have been told in many, many states, you know, people come up to me, you know, people have organized meetings, and they say, listen, you know, we had people move into our town. They only came in, they, they rented an apartment, they only came in for a meeting, and they flew out of town. No, 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 no. We've got them over here where the mayors get the money in these towns and then bring in actual UN people. Yes. Uh, we had I had that in my own town, you know, people who came in to, to PSYOP against me. And, you know, you you sound crazy when you talk. About and what's incredible, reality. I, I wanted to talk about that because now that it's coming out, it's real. And people go, wait, there's actual, you know, th these are mercenary soldiers posing as liberals. Yes. That's their camo. Yeah. And, and once you corner them, I've even had them threaten me and stuff. They know they're officers. Yeah. They know they're commandos. I mean, these are actual, like, CIA agents, basically, infiltrating America. Yeah, you know, in my book, I talk about this guy who who was in our town, who was a United Nations diplomat, who moved into our town, into a dinky little house in our town. He'd been living in an estate in Greece, right? He moves into a little town, uh, into our little town, onto a little street. And then what did he do? He set up a neighborhood association and a neighborhood alliance. This is what they do. They, oh, yeah. They enter in so they can create, uh, they can create public uh, consent. Schwarzenegger admitted when we destroyed their Copenhagen takeover four years ago, he said, we will move into the towns and cities. <laughs> He said, I will coordinate the operation. That's quotes. Yeah. I mean, I mean that, the yeah. forces will move in. They'll not stop us. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's so obvious. Arrest them all. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Go ahead. It's treason, man. And the thing is, you know what? Don't let this paralyze you. There are way more of us than there are of Oh, no, no. It should, it should energize you. Let me show you something. This is, check this out. This is on our website. Take a look at this, okay? These are flyers. You can go to our website, go to the flyer page, print these out, six bucks. You can print a two-sided flyer, a hundred of them, print them out, and put them on people's doorsteps. You want to spread the information. Hey, go to church. That's what we do with the bumper stickers, all of it. Get aggressive, get motivated, stomp gobbler's butt. Yes, that's it. And when you do this, you know, people, first of all, people can't argue with you because you put it on their porch in the morning. They pick it up. Each individual reads it separately. And this is what we need to do is spread awareness and get the information. And people are more hungry than ever. People know 
there's something wrong. Everyone knows there's something wrong. There's an enemy literal takeover, and they've got collaborators working with them. And let me tell the criminals something. We take yeah. this country back. They all need to go to, there needs to be a Nuremberg trial, doesn't there? Yeah, there is Nuremberg principles, because you know what? Just following orders ain't going to fly. There is no excuse. We just had the police in Austin on video last week say we couldn't hand out magazines or have our bumper stickers on our cars. On video, we have this. Whoa. I mean, that, that this is getting freaky, folks. Jakari Jackson here, and I want to talk to you for a second about water. You know about ProPure, our flagship water purification system, but check out some of our portable water filter products at InfoWarsStore.com. The clearly filtered water pitcher. Also, for those of you on the go, we have the Athlete Edition filtered water bottle and the RAD Eliminator Pro filtered sports bottle that removes radiation. And keep in mind, we have replacement filters for all of these products. The ever popular grab and go bag favorite, the Life Straw, the Crystal Quest shower filter system, and the Aquapod kit, great for mass storage of water. And while you're at the InfoWars shop, pick up a copy of our latest book, 31 Days to Survival. You can find all this and more at the InfoWarsStore.com. And don't forget, it's your support that funds our operation. Sign up for our free newsletter at InfoWars.com forward slash newsletter. Alex Jones here. I know we got loaded phones here. And I want to get to these callers who've been on hold since the last hour. But uh, I've got to also, because we're going to have our guest into the next hour. She, uh, I've got her to stay with us here. But I want, you know, callers to try to address something to her, and then you can bring up your issue, which she can also talk about, because all of this ties into this. Okay, this is global government, private mega banks, their dream plan to be above the law and run world government. I mean, that's what it is. And that's who runs it. If you look at who funds the UN, sustainable development, the gun control groups, all of them, it's Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, a few others, Bank of America. Uh, you look at who funds in Europe all the takeovers. You look at who funds all the anti-family stuff. You look at who just funds anything destructive, it's them. And because they're a bunch of crooks. And we've got to wake up to that or it's game over. And, and what she's saying is, get aggressive. Go to her website. And you used to, we had flyers about the New World Order. I'm going to reintroduce these as well for our listeners. Where you can just print them off, get them out to people. We, we, we ought to have a contest where listeners write flyers, maybe a $1,000 contest so you can write the best flyer and we can post all the flyers up on the site. Uh, but you go to the site and get why is everyone talking about Agenda 21 and then it's just you know a two-sided page deal that breaks it down that says, please copy and distribute. Awareness is the first step in the resistance. And, and the same thing, get the book in mass at InfoWarsStore.com. We sell it as low as price you're going to find out there and even comes with some bumper stickers of InfoWars.com and fight them and you'll find people hear me and they go i'm scared i'm gonna give up it's the opposite get aggressive because these are tyrants the, 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 when you resist them they get scared they only win when we don't resist rosa talk, talk about the success you've had and am i wrong in saying the only fear we should have is fear itself the only fear we should have is to not get aggressive and let them take over yeah you know they're the ones that are taking the nonviolent training <laughs> i mean not to say i'm not talking about being violent okay but what I'm saying is get out there before you need to get violent you don't want to have to use your guns because you know what the government's got way bigger guns than you've got what we need to do is to get out there and fight this while we can and they're in the wrong our time absolutely that's why they stonewall talk about the stonewalling oh for crying out loud you know you will be called a, a tinfoil hat you'll be told that you're you know you're a fantasist you will be called a right winger I've been called a right winger I, I, I've been a, a liberal Democrat my entire voting life. My parents are liberal Democrats. And you were at the highest levels of the, t of the state Department of Transportation. I, was, I worked for the and, Department of Transportation. And discovered all this. And, you know, and, well, I came out, I, I, what I did was I was appraising property for eminent domain purposes to acquire for freeway projects and I was like, hey, no, what happened to private property rights? People can't do anything with their property anymore. How can I value it? So you didn't like being in the place of a tyrant? No, I, of course not. And obviously, I mean, I was valuing property at the very highest price that the market would pay. And I was finding that you couldn't determine what people could actually sell their property for because you couldn't say what they could do. And that's that. the tactic. The and globalists are the only ones that can allow. Once they steal property, they always flip it to themselves and then take the restrictions off. You know, and this is what happens is that the centers of your towns, this is what Agenda 21 looks like in your town. It looks like high-density, smart-growth development right in the center of your town 
down that is being subsidized with your tax dollars. So because of that, because you're actually paying for this, there's no demand for it. People don't want to move into those condos and apartments on top of shops. Most people want to live elsewhere. So that money is not there to build those things. Your tax dollars are paying for it. And this is what's happening is you're subsidizing that. And this is the hardscape for your future poverty. This is what it's going to look like because the new frugality is, or the new poverty, you know, the sort of the joy of living with... Oh, you go to Whole Foods, every magazine yeah. says it's sexy to be pathetic and poor. Yeah, right. And, you know, it's... Like, and to give all your money to the government. Yeah. Right. And so it, when, when you glorify poverty and when you glorify consensus, right, it's like you're not going to think for yourself, are you? Because then you're not, you're going to be... Ostracized. These people are pathetic. You're going to be ostracized. You're not going to be loved by this big group that's going to... And they, you know... But it's all a fake love. It's like being in the schmuck yeah. club. Yeah. Rosa, people ask me, who are new listeners, they go, why are you so excited? Well, ladies and gentlemen, when the police tell you you can't have bumper stickers on your car in downtown Austin, I mean, you know, we're two minutes to midnight. I mean, when they are giving $85 billion a month to foreign banks to prop up their derivatives, and we've got to pay uh, money, interest on money we give them, I mean, that's a screw job on a screw job. I mean, I get animated. I mean, if I caught somebody stealing a bicycle out of my garage, which I have before, I got pretty mad and chased them. I, I mean, and I guess that's abnormal. I'm supposed to just want to, like, act like I'm part of it and just go with it and be screwed. Go ahead. Yeah, this passivity thing. You know, you're supposed to be passive. You're, you know, it's about consensus. It's about going along to get along. You know, that is the way that, that you are taken over. <coughs> who is going to tell you not to raise a stink? The, those who are taking you over. Revolution is bad for business. Right, and this is not revolution, by the way. We are exerting our rights. Pro this is restoration. This is They're involved in a in, exactly. in a revolution. They are the revolutionaries. They are taking us over. You know, this is a hostile takeover. This is a totalitarian state being erected around us right now. This is what it looks like. It's a failed state happening to us right now. We're being taken down because you know what? Hey, check it out. Our uh, median household income in the United States it's like fifty thousand dollars a year for a household median. That's in the middle, not the average, right? Well, in the world, it's like $5,000. For a, you know, so look at that wow. 10 times. So look at how far we have to come down before those markets, they're going to bring the, uh, the developing world up a little bit and then take us down. Why? Because our wages are too high, because our expectations are too high, because we use everything too much. And guess what? Why would they want to take us out of the land? Why would they want to remove people from the land? Why do they want well, yeah, I mean, to level high density cities? They want to collect people into city centers so that we can be more easily monitored, controlled, and surveilled and so that those areas outside the wildlands so that those areas can be exploited for gas oil uh, minerals for uh, timber oh yeah no 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 when they say they care about the environment it's the complete opposite and we'll be told that there's scarcity this is an artificial scarcity that's being implemented on us right now this is what it's about you know if you take a look at 1984 that is about artificial scarcity this is how it's done and so and this is what totalitarianism looks like like people think oh no it can't happen here hey it's happening here this is what it looks like we need to stand up now this is our moment Nuremberg principles the Nuremberg principles are that it is not okay to go along to get along you cannot say that you were just following orders or that you know everyone else was doing it that is not all right this is treason and those people who you know this falls in with a liberal worldview it's very appealing to a lot of people because they think they're doing yeah they think it's redistribution they don't get that once you're under globalist control it's going to be forced population reduction uh, and they've romanticized kind of the low-level uh, propaganda that oh it's to build a better world it's not building a better world no it's not and you know what agenda people want to know what agenda 21 is agenda 21 is the plan to, it's the plan to implement sustainable development it is the action plan to 
to inventory and control all land, all water, all minerals, all plants, all animals, all construction, all means of production. It's the takeover plan. All information and all human beings in the world. This is a real plan signed on to by the United States. The battle plan. Implemented by your federal government in your states, in your local governments, in your schools. It is happening now. I want viewers watching us on InfoWarsNews.com and radio listeners out there to listen to me very, very carefully. Okay? If you don't get out of your coma and get upset and get aggressive, we're going to be usurped. We're designed to face an enemy coming over the hill to enslave our village. That's what we're genetically, every race, color, creed, know instinctively. But we're not designed to deal with bureaucracy and propaganda and taxes and regulations. And that's the real 21st century tool. And under the globalist, they want a system that goes backwards to a post-industrial world where we're dumbed down, we're kept at starvation level, we're socially engineered to take the vaccines, the forced sterilization, the forced abortions to, quote, reduce population. And a lot of yuppies go, well, there are too many people. Well, let me tell you something. You're under the attack, and the West is dying. Europe will not even be European within another generation, okay? They have about 1.3 children. Same thing here in the U.S. So don't worry. You've committed suicide. And I know you want to make sure you can kill the third world uh, where you want to cut their energy uh, supplies as well. So I know it gives you a power trip to think about cutting off power and being poor. And there are problems with a decadent consumerist society. I get all that. I get why you think it's sexy. But the issue is this isn't even what you're being told this is for isn't even it. This is a total post-industrial world in Maury Strong's own words and all their books. i got a whole bookshelf of them. We source them in my film Endgame to shut everything down and create a monopoly of power and have high-tech government and corporate reservations that are light years ahead with life extension, robotics, androids. This is what they're saying. A life extension. Go read what Ray Kurzweil and all of them say. While we live in the city ghettos around that, if we're even allowed to live. So, so this is the shutdown of society so we can be exterminated. And it sounds like a science fiction movie because they were telling you what they were going to do in the science fiction movies that, that are really in Bertrand Russell's and others' uh, writings. So this is the plan. It's hyper-authoritarianism. It's a creeping death, but it's here where... China has you know, dead pigs in the river and, and, and fires in the river and, and suicide nets at the Apple factories because they're so liberal. Al Gore, I mean, it must be okay. Peace bombs, I mean, Obama. And the Republicans are all on board with it, of course, because they're all bought and paid for in the same group, uh, you know, at the highest echelons. And they get three new coal power plants, totally dirty. We get three or four shut down a week or more, 200 plus a year. Power prices going up. We're having the lights turned off. They're tearing it all up. Only the megacities, and, and, and that's not just a Drudge Dread term. That's their term, that all the maps are public. Look up megacity regions, super regions. They're shutting us down. So it's important to go to Rosa Corey's website and see the city council meeting she's been at, what she does, the planning commission meetings. Get her book, read it, m mimic that, because her playbook is dead on truth, Veritas, you know, pure crystalline. Get the book at InfoWarsStore.com. Get it out and go be the leader. And now we go to these meetings outside Austin. They're in every town. We outnumber them now. They're panicking. Other areas, though, people aren't waking up, so it's a mix. Go to the meeting she's got tomorrow in Bastrop, uh, the original capital of Texas they were going to make it. I uh, talk like Yoda now. Bastrop, the original capital of Texas they would make it. You need to go there and fight the empire. I mean, the fight is now, folks. This is real James Bond stuff, okay? I mean, you want to fight? You want adventure? You want to fight criminals? This is it. I mean, they know. They're technicians. You will face UN operatives. You will face globalist operatives. Okay, eight, nine minutes left in this segment. I'm going to try to give you the floor. It's just I start hyperventilating. This is so important. Talk about what we're facing, uh, uh, the meeting, and, and other points you haven't gotten to yet. Yeah, you know, hey, if you're here in Texas, the Sustainable Places Program, I, it's a I, you know, who knows? They all have the same kind of names. But these names are, you know, interchangeable everywhere across the country. These are all regional programs that are designed to 
destroy uh, jurisdictional boundaries, erase jurisdictional boundaries, and create these mega regions, which, you know, America2050.org, this is a program and a project of the Rockefeller Foundation, the Ford Foundation, B of A, the huge corporations. The folks that made the UN. This is it. This is what they want to do. And this is a battle for the hearts and minds of the people of the world. Don't, you know, don't think it isn't. And it's almost like we've been, you know, <laughs> I, I like to say this, it's almost as if there's been a football game going on for the last 20 years and we were out in the parking lot having a kegger and now we're suited up we've got our you know our pads on our helmets are on we've got the ball we have the ball now and this is the thing is that when you've got the ball you need to know where the goal is and we need to fight to move forward to block all of this and re-erect our freedom how do we route the enemy tell us this is it you know what let me just say this Remember this, private property rights include your person, your body, your mind. Oh, they're now saying they're going to force vaccines on us. That's this part of UN. Your most important private property. You know, this is it. Hey, when my mother was dying in the hospital, they told me I had to go get a flu shot in order to spend time with her. I went down to the basement picked up a receipt out of the trash and went back up and gave it to them. I didn't get a flu shot. This is, these things are designed to restrict you, to make you fall into line, to be obedient. You know, hey, when you're in the airport, don't go through that thing. Go early and make them do the pat down on you. Now start saying no. Resist. Do not go along. Expose collaborators and refuse to collaborate yourself. If you're getting money from, from this plan, if you're, you know, examine what you're doing examine your life hey if you're smoking weed out there on the couch you know what put it down make those flyers and get out there and get this information take it personal people. this is your life there's no joking around here this is the time to do it if we don't do it now we are not going to be doing it we have a window now let's move through it we are actually raising awareness all over the world and things are happening all over the world. This is a change. You've got to know your enemy, identify nonprofits, the collaborators, the uh, consultants that are putting these plans together. You want to call them out. You want to identify how much money is being paid to them. Yeah, that's how they pay the mercenaries. Describe your speech tomorrow. I mean, how do you identify these people? Oh, well, it's, it's all over. Of course, there are you know, here's how it is done. Basically, the federal government gives money to the local agents, to the local governments, and the metropolitan planning organizations and the councils of government. And here in Texas, you've got like 27 of them. Across the United States, there are 500. This is where the money comes down. All the federal agencies have actually changed their policies to bring them into alignment with Agenda 21. And the local agencies are doing the same thing. So you want to expose this, you want to identify it, and then you want to block it. You want to speak out. Show up and speak out. Do not be afraid. Because if you don't do this, you know, they're going to... This is the way it works with collaborative government. This is what you're getting. Consensus government, if you don't speak out, they assume that you agree. Can you believe that? They assume that you agree, and because you don't have representative government anymore, then it's all by consensus and collaboration. So if you're not there, they assume it's an implicit agreement. And it's all under admiralty administrative. They're transferring the, the state constitutions and, and having the counties and cities criminally shine over authority to regional boards run by their unelected criminals. That's it. These are appointed boards. You cannot get them out. You can't influence them. They're made up of elected officials, but there's like, there may be 80 or 100 people on that board. So if you've got an elected official from your town who you've, you know, convinced that this is a bad idea, that guy has got, or woman, is not going to have much of a voice. This is what happens with consensus government. This is a nightmare. We need to block it, to call it out, and to refuse to collaborate. And we need numbers. We need to, you do it in your small town. You know what? There's no Switzerland in this fight. Don't think you're going to go hide in your bunker. You're not, okay? You may stay there for a while, but what's going to happen when you come out? The thing is, you need to be there in your small town right now. You go down and you speak out. You call this out. Name it. It is Agenda 21 Sustainable Development. Name it. Refuse to allow yourself to be sidelined or shamed or embarrassed. And I explain it just like this. Look at how the banks brag they've conquered Europe. Here's the Financial Times of London. Print out that headline. Mm -hmm. Here they are, folks. This is it. Yeah. By making your land worthless, they double the value of their land. Right. 
Draw the links. You know, that's one thing in my book, you know, uh, and that's why I wrote that book. I can't go all over the, you know, I mean, I am all, all over the U.S., but I can't be everywhere. So I wrote the book so people could have that info. And it's on the website, too. And, you know, it's all over. People are getting this information now. Now, the direct line is from the United Nations plan into the federal government through the President's Council on Sustainable Development and then right down into your state and local government. It is not some plan that's not out there that doesn't have any impact on you. It is a real plan happening now. It has been happening for 20 years. It has changed your school system. It's changed your government. And you are, you know, don't allow yourself to be victimized by it. You take your... Yeah, power. take it personal, but look at like your mother. First, they try to make the nurses take it. There's no law. Now it's laws they're trying to pass at state level and have passed in some states where you can't even be in child care. That means a coach, yeah. little league, whatever, if you don't take hundreds of shots they want. And there's no law, so they're trying to get laws. But they would just say, can't see your mother unless you take a shot that they admit doubles your chances of getting the flu in their own studies. It's just pure mafia color of law where Big Pharma says hospital do this yeah and then they order you and everybody follows orders what empowers this following tyrannical orders yeah and look at you know if they make it obviously in, in the town next to my town in my county it's against the law to smoke in your apartment right hey think about smart growth you're in your apartment right you're in your condo you can't smoke legally it's against the law think about that people are taking uh, antidepressants so that they won't smoke anymore antidepressants what do they do they make you suicidal they make you violent and you know or they they create a pa total passivity so you're not gonna we've got a bunch of social violent. engineers like we're ants in a in a dish and they're messing with us yeah. let's get out of the dish and grab them by the throat and say I'm aware of you right. you're not Manipulating me. Stop playing their game. Anti Delphi their meetings. I've got, you know, how to anti Delphi a meeting. It's being done all across the country. Now, now, uh, you go in and point out that, hey, notice, folks, you just write something down and then they tell you what they want. Explain to us how you anti Delphi after we take some calls. Okay. And again, where is the meeting tomorrow night in Bastrop? It's at the Bastrop Opera House in Bastrop, Texas, 6 30 p.m. And uh, I think Jim Mars is going to be introducing me. Very, very exciting. And we're running it now on the local radio. Hi, this is Mike Adams, the Health Ranger, with some news about some new additions to the InfoWars store. You know good health is freedom. When you're healthy, you're not a slave to the medical system. Everything works well, your brain, your body, even your spirit. You're a healthier person. And to help support that great health, Alex has asked me to source the cleanest, most potent superfoods and other similar products in the world and bring them to the InfoWars store. So we've done that. The brand name is Health Ranger Select. And we're starting out right now with these three products. We've got Himalayan salt from Pakistan, formed hundreds of thousands of years ago in an ancient seabed long before modern pollution destroyed much of the oceans. This is loaded with trace minerals and it's pristine, true, full spectrum sea salt. We've also got natural attitude turmeric. It's an extract of turmeric, very potent, tastes great, alcohol free. This is from organic turmeric out of India. And we've also got clean chlorella. And we sourced and, and did research on all the chlorella sources around the world. And we found the two cleanest sources that have the lowest levels of any kind of contaminants. In fact, this one is virtually free of all metals and all contaminants. It's called clean chlorella and it's, it's about two-thirds protein, and it's got chlorophyll and chlorella growth factor in it. Check it out online. It's an amazing superfood that athletes are using and people are using to help support healthy lifestyles. It's fantastic. This is all packaged in our certified organic facility here in Central Texas. There we follow USDA certified standards and we're audited every year by the USDA certifier to make sure that we comply with all organic standards. That combined with the fact that we only source super clean superfoods and raw materials from around the world means that our products represent the cleanest and most potent products that you'll find across the natural products industry. Check all of these out under the Health Ranger Select brand name at the InfoWars store, InfoWarsStore.com. And we'll be bringing you more of these in the near future. Thanks and take care. Thanks for joining us today as we try to awaken humanity worldwide. This is a worldwide problem of the United States in Europe, or really the heart of it. Up at InfoWars.com right now, a congressman fights to stop flying robots 
endlessly watching Americans. That's the actual headline, what the congressman said. U.S. moves to support al-Qaeda in Syria following unconfirmed chemical attack, which al-Qaeda had said they would launch. Uh, it's it's uh, really becoming a Alice in Wonderland type situation. Who will be the first killer wearing Google glasses? One thing is certain. He'll say he thought it was a movie. Great article by John Rappaport, who joins us tomorrow. And that's just some of the articles up on the site. Rose, I want to take some calls now, but then get back into other solutions. Now you anti-Delphi these people and how to recognize just one of their techniques they use. Uh, but... Uh, what do you make of, I don't see this working for them anymore to just deny what they're doing or go, oh, we do run Al-Qaeda now, but we still have to take your rights because of Al-Qaeda. I mean, it's just the narrative is so thin mm -hmm. and people are waking up and the government's answer is billions of bullets and tanks and checkpoints. And then to say there are no checkpoints, there are no tanks, when they now have TSA checkpoints in downtown Austin. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, the, you know, the thing is, is that what they'll do is they'll tell you it's some right-wing thing, uh, that you're, you're fantasizing, that this isn't real. And meanwhile, you've got, anti, you've got disinformation people running all over. You know, when Hitler came to power, when Hitler marched into Austria, uh, they, they actually arrested like 60,000 people in a single day when he, get, when he went into Austria. They arrested dissenters. How did they know who they were? In a group of three people, one of those people would be a spy. Can you imagine the amount of people that you need to do a network like that? And what we have right now with uh, domestic surveillance, with drones, with restrictions, with, uh, with uh, people who have infiltrated neighborhoods, they're right down into your neighborhood associations. They look just like you. And they're, they, they are the people who are uh, hired as consultants, as uh, people who are pushing these plans. They may, some of them think they're doing the right Listen, thing. Listen, we've had guys in suits come out when we're doing men on the street things, and then we find out they're local bureaucrats, and they will call the police on us mm -hmm. for being on a street corner doing interviews. They'll walk over, and this is on tape, and go, uh, I got some money for you to talk to, and, we'll, and, they're, and they're already ready under InfraGuard, that program, for the time will be taken away. And, and they get on these power trips mm -hmm. that they're little secret agents now. Yeah. I mean, when, no, you're dirtbag criminal <laughs> collaborator. This is treason. But you know what? There are a lot more of us. And one thing, you know, uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a left liberal, but you know what? This is a nonpartisan fight. That's why you're wearing purple. Yeah, and the thing, that's exactly right. We're not blue and red. We are, you know, let's be a nation. Let's be a nation of individuals. We come together as individuals. I like that idea, the purple movement. Yeah. <laughs> Did you invent that idea? Well, no, I think, uh, well, of course, it's my little undercover gay thing, too, because I am gay. But, you know, yeah, no, obviously, that's what we are, right? We are one country. I didn't know one purple country. had something to do with being gay. But... Oh, well, that's because you're not gay, so you don't know. You're okay, well, but, but I mean, my whole deal is I like the idea of saying... Blue and red. Yeah, exactly. Blue. Yeah. No, it's uh, because this terrifies those in power. You want to terrify the people who are running this thing? You make common cause with people who are on the left. You find what it is. If you're going to refuse smart meters, you want to fight smart meters, that's something that people... And they always try to make it a left or right issue. What does that have to do with it? A robot attached to my house spying on me, and they admit they're spying, and then go... But then say, they now... They're now arresting people all over with no warrants for no reason. They're now going in houses to look at guns without warrants. That's in the news today. I mean, it's just, it's authoritarianism. Yeah, so they put a chip in every gun, you know, and they got a chip in everything, and there you are, you know, you everything you do. Is and they're saying it's a felony if the chip isn't in it. They're proposing that. Mm -hmm. Right. And this is, this is how it, you know, the bag gets tightened. This is how it happens. This is what it looks like. You know, we're still, we are not quite at square one anymore. But people are still at this point where they're like, you know, nah, that can't happen here in the United States. You bet it can. You think we, we have some, like, super shield around us or something? Oh, no, they're no. doubling down with tyranny when they fully move. No, this is what it looks like. You know, this is why we need to block it now. We need to become aware. Wake up. You know, get sharp. Put these, you know, uh, alert people. If you blanket your town with flyers, somebody just put 70,000 flyers out on the East Coast, which is really... I like what you just said. You snapped your fingers. We do job interviews, and people come in here, and they're, like, dazed, and you can't get through to them. Because, yeah. And they admit, because of all the TV screens and things, people get in trance-like states. And sometimes when I'm talking to crew or whatever, they're all smart, but I've got to go, hey... Let's actually get in a conscious mode here because yeah. all of us get kind of in this dazed 
you know, a, a world. Know. And you get overwhelmed. And plus, you know, when you're doing gaming and all that stuff is coming at you really fast, you know, I was sitting on the plane, there's this little kid next to me, and he was like completely absorbed with this thing. And I was thinking, you know, do his parents know that his movements on that game board identify him? Your movements on a game board are literally your ID. And this is the... Oh, they've got algorithms watching that. Everything, you know. So if you're having your brain synapses changed from using... Then you're not going to be able to read, right? They admit yeah. it's actually dumbing the kids down. Yes, absolutely. And they're like, don't attack video games. You can tell the video game head they can't communicate with you. Yeah, no. Hey, that's right. And this is how it happens. It's slow, but it happens with the next generation. Don't let it happen on your world. Wow, Rosa, I'm impressed. You really know your stuff. Wow. What a smart lady. We'll be back with your calls. We are being conquered. The military industrial complex owned by foreign banks created the UN and the Presidio in San Francisco in 1945. It's all on record. Their plan to end the family as you know it, their, their plan to end towns, cities, everything, and only have mega cities that are above the law with globalists in them operating as city states, like the Vatican is an example of. I'm not demonizing Catholics of the Vatican, I'm saying that's the model. Or the city of London within London, that financial capital. Or how Israel is kind of, you know, outside the UN, does whatever it wants. That is going to be the model. She was talking about that. We'll get to more of that after some calls. It is so important for you to understand that people talk about discrimination on race or sex or things like this. They obsess on that all day and the old fights to get us fighting with each other. When to shut down over 200 power plants in Obama's first four years that were clean burning and to see power prices go up everywhere. I mean, that is, when you attack a country, bombers fly in and bomb the power plants. The globalists are, dest are, are destroying our infrastructure, paying $22 billion to ship General Motors to China, Brazil, and Eastern Europe. And you're like, well, don't the Chinese, what, so they can have suicide nets? It doesn't, they're actually going down. They're not, uh, they force everybody off their land in southern Mexico and into the maquiladores. And then they're up here, what choice do they have? And then, oh, the government's like, get some free welfare, not to empower them clients to then vote to take the guns it's all balkanization the globalists want more chaos because they're exempt from it all and they're just you know crushing things smashing things so they're left standing and then they get paid to come in and clean. they they play all sides just like they create al-qaeda create taliban empower them so they have a reason to be there and get all the opium with Karzai saying, you run Al-Qaeda, you run Taliban. I don't just believe Karzai, it's, they're using them in Libya and Syria. It's not, and people say, you say America did that? The globalists that run our country created the Soviets on record. That's all declassified now. They've had New York Times articles having to admit, well, they declassified the Russian stuff. Turns out McCarthy was right, but he was limited in what he was doing. They were using him to shoot low-level communist. Instead, when he said the army runs Russia, they, they, oh, that's it, you're discredited. When you figure out the globalists are full spectrum dominance, they will play all the major sides, but they don't play we the people. They don't control you, they don't control me. And there's a lot of good people in the system as well. This is a very criminal group, a very small group doing this. It, it's it, 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 every case, it's the JP Morgan Chase, Goldman Sachs, um, it's the Rockefeller Foundation. Go look at who funds all this. The Rockefeller's name is on everything. And who gave the land for the UN? I mean, it's them, folks. It is them. Most important man alive, David Rockefeller. Probably more than the Queen of England and her cousin, uh, Sax Coburg Gotha, who's there, Queen Beatrix, who, uh, I mean, that woman's probably more powerful than the Queen of England because she's hands on. And now she's handing it over to her son, who's really creepy. But here it is behind the green mask, UN Agenda 21. Get this book, support us. But that's secondary. Get the book, buy 100. Rosa, I'm not putting a pretty face on this. We're going to calls. Am I right in saying that we are just having magic level success right now because old timers warned people for so long, planted the seeds, got called kooks, but now everybody remembers they were told about this 20 years ago. I mean, are we not seeing a giant wake up right now when Obama raises taxes on poor people and promised he wouldn't? Yeah, it's really incredible what's happening, not just across the United States only, but around the world. This is, and of course, the people's media, like you, Alex, I mean, this, you know, with the internet, people are beginning to recognize that, hey, they're not alone. They are part of a huge worldwide grassroots, non 
nonpartisan movement to stop United Nations Agenda 21 sustainable development. So, you know, obviously... Real this, solidarity. And listen, this is public-private partnerships. So when you see that Siemens Corporation, the old Nazi corporation, and GE and IBM, these are the Nazi collaborators. They didn't go away. You know, people think, hey, do you think in 1945 it all stopped? No. I was told by an FBI agent... 16 years ago that came down to Access TV to visit me, and I checked and it was an FBI agent, that I was being tracked when I made that America Story by Design film because nobody was covering UN Agenda 21 then. I mean, that's in that film. And I said, who's tracking me? And he said, basically operatives of Siemens. Look into that. Yeah. And it's funny you just said Siemens. Oh, Siemens USA is a huge player. We have a page on our website, Democrats Against UN Agenda 21, on who funds Agenda 21. Siemens is a huge player. They have a tremendous amount of money, $27 billion in, in just money laying around right now. They are in the grid. They're in water. They bought up the world, the United States' largest water supplier, U.S. Filter. They own, they're in, the, um, they're in surveillance. They're in smart, uh, smart growth. They're in, uh, 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 what is it, um, high-speed rail and uh, low, you know, what is it, uh, light rail. They are in everything. They, and it's not just about money, you know. It's not just about greed. We've got IBM, which made the, uh, made the punch cards. All our computers yeah. for, for uh, the Nazis. And then you've got your, you know, numbers tattooed on your arms. Well, now you've got uh, biometrics. Retinal scanning is the latest. That is going to be the biggest growing industry. Google glasses. In the world, right? Yes, when you've got that, listen. <laughs> Game over, okay? We've got to stop this now, block it now, refuse to collaborate, refuse to cooperate. Do not be a party to this. And they're moving on every front with forced inoculations, retina scanning to get in the gym, and you're like, well, so what? It, it, you know, it's, it's high tech. Bad people run it, folks. They're going to use it to take everything out of your bank account. They're going to use it. They now admit, which we reported 12 years ago, but they now admit that all the customer loyalty cards are uploaded to the government yeah. and the insurance companies. Right. I mean, that's why, I mean, it's so cold-blooded. You know, Rand Paul just put out, I think uh, it just came up today or the other day about the America Community Survey, you know, that's uh, that is actually mandatory. And they lie and say it's the law when it's not. They put a code on there yeah, and say it's the law, but it's fraud. Well, now he's launched legislation saying, hey, you know, you don't have to fill that thing out. But you, guess what? You know, you don't have to fill these things out if it's not required you know if if don't give them your well, it also says under perjury. penalty of perjury oh, so if you make a mistake it's a felony oh yeah but but let's see the, they show the code it says say how many people live here so it's it's a trick the code on it is the questions you've got to answer mm -hmm. and then another 50 to 100 right. to 200 what's your toilet what's, what's your stock and bonds yeah. do you have guns when do you go to work right how what much money do you make yeah, what are you growing on your land? I mean, I've had farmers come up to me from, you know, all over the nation and saying, geez, Rosa, what do I do? Do I have to fill this thing out? They want to know everything. Hey, when you fill out the animal life. premises ID, that again is not law but color of law, it waives all your rights. It's fraud. This the, is criminals. You know, this is what the new, this is the new world order is government by decree, government by regulation, restriction. This is about you losing your representative rights. You, your, your representative government is disappearing. Period. In America, I can't hand out magazines in Austin until I went down there. And they said, we're going to arrest you next. Yeah. And I said, go ahead. We're going to sue all of you. And they had to back off. But my God. And the police were even later going, we're sorry. We were ordered to do it. It's like, you're sorry. You better be sorry that you ever followed the order. I mean, do you really want to have no... Look, they'll take the money out of your bank account, dummy. If there's no due process, we're all screwed. Don't you get it, people? You're not part of the establishment. It hates you. Did you get a memo about hydrofluorous... Hydrofluorous silicic acid? Did you get a memo about GMO or aspartame? Did you get a memo about it killing you and your family? No, you didn't. You're not part of the power structure. You're either going to just lay down and love evil and think you're part of it and, and crawl along for a while, or you're going to come in and jump on the team for the big win. Uh, and you know what, Alex? Your listeners are on board, but now they need to do something. Okay, whatever you're doing, do more. You can do more. Put out these flyers. Get the information out. Talk about it. Show up at meetings. Anti-Delphi. 
You yeah, briefly, and I promise we're going to calls, but briefly, how do you anti-Delphi? Okay. Uh, briefly, basically, I give the whole layout in the back of my book, okay, and it's exact. You know, you really... And there's a video of people right. doing it we have, on your site. Yes, and we have, you know, near riot at Delphi meeting where we t literally took down a government meeting because they were Delphiing us and we refused to cooperate. Basically, you want to refuse to go along to get along, but you have to do it carefully or they will actually make it seem as if you are, you know, somebody who's just the meeting and they'll bring the cops in. If you bring the cops in, it obviously shows that this is not just some sort of hunky dory, groovy little. No, it's done as intimidation. Meeting. These are would be authoritarians. If they could, they would put your whole family in a gulag. Right. But a guy just won $15 million for borrowing his buddy's car and was locked up for years. No one knew where he was in a, in a New Mexico jail. They're now putting people in jail for five years over balloons. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, basically, what you're going to do is ask the hard questions and then you want to back each other up you do this with a team so you refuse to allow yourselves to be sidelined you refuse to allow yourselves to be shamed because that's what communitarianism is all about it's about shaming you for actually speaking out so you want to speak out you want to support each other in these meetings that's right and, uh, exactly because they'll have their operatives planted to try to turn the cattle so you have your people spread out who just start popping up and it totally freaks them out right it totally freaks them out and then you basically want to let them know that you know what's up and eventually when you do this and you do this well you have not worn your name tag you're not identifying yourself you are going in as a freedom force you do it with other people you don't identify yourselves to each other you do it as a, a, a sort of a stealth force because this is a stealth and I'm telling you folks if you get happy when your team wins the Super Bowl oh, when you man. destroy their operations it is champagne time it is a big yeah hit. Oh, you feel yeah. Right. it's a big hit and then you take it on the road and you do it in the towns near you and you start supporting other groups and pretty soon you guys are outnumbering the people who are running these meetings the consultants and the planners and the people who've been paid and look how they sit there real smug oh, yeah. they always try to act like <laughs> that they're invincible but it's all wizard of oz crap i'm sorry it really is they are snowing you they this whole thing is designed to give you the impression that this is your idea they are literally snowing you in every one of these meetings and if you refuse to go it is not your plan. You are there to show the people that it is not your plan, that you do not agree, that you don't want to go along to get along with Sustainable Places Project here in Texas or uh, Granite State Future or One Bay Area. And by the way, we are suing to stop the plan in our area in the nine county San Francisco Bay Area, One Bay Area. This is putting you guys on notice, Metropolitan Planning Organization and California and all across the world, we are suing. And your weapon is due process, we are civil you. rights, constitution. That's right, and whatever, it's a constitutional violation and we are not going to stand for it. We will block this. We will not. Look at this lady, has got a fighting spirit. And it's infectious. I love it. I love it. I love it. Because let me tell you, there's nothing more disgusting than these smug pus buckets that go around trying to rob and take over our towns and suck people dry and then have code enforcers in police uniforms arresting old ladies who haven't mowed their yard and three thousand dollar a day fines mm -hmm. i mean these it, it, folks it is blood boiling yeah okay they need to be in prison it's what it looks like you know what does it look like traffic calming uh uh code enforcement um, it looks like form-based codes. It looks like scenic byways, vision 2025, your general plan, your master plan, your comprehensive plan, public-private partnerships, transit-oriented development. It's you can't smoke in your apartment. It's a giant Beauty cult. It is a crime. Heels, you know, healthy eating, active living. This is all about rezoning. Well, no, no, no. You go to Whole Foods now, and and it's all about we're going to tell you how to behave. You're doing good, and and, and people will come and go. You're making good choices. Right. And I go, I'm not coming back here. That, that happened three times last time I was there. Hello, you're making good choices, I see. Really? And it's like, oh, you're bringing GMO in here now, aren't you? It's all literal cult. Because once they get you, it's a giant cult. Yeah. It's a giant UN eugenics death cult. Okay, let's go to some calls. This is unbelievable. Right. Uh, let's talk to George in Connecticut on Agenda 21, then Matt, then Casey, then Jeff, then Connor, and others. Uh, you're on the air. Uh, go ahead, George in Connecticut. Uh, I, this is an, I found out after your last talk on uh, Alex that uh, my town is not only in Agenda 21, practically two-thirds of the, the town is uh, sewed up to this. I tried to stop them on a project that was a billion-dollar project, 
and they use the police uh, to, to strong on me and almost kill me. I mean, these people are willing to do anything to get these projects together. Mm-hmm. I'd love to find a way to get some of my money back from the court that, uh, and go after these bastards. Do you have any suggestions? <laughs> uh, yeah, I would start, uh, just call yourself a citizen journalist, start a website, and start following the planners and people, and you'll find them in other criminal activities. I mean, they're always like kleptomaniac nuts. And then just burn them down on YouTube. There's more than one way to skin a cat. I have top lawyers on that beat the uh, Food and Drug Administration on stuff, and they'll always just point out that the judge is getting money for Monsanto. I mean, they're mafia, and, and so it's not fighting dirty. Just just go go dig the dirt up on them, start hammering their heads in with, with the dirt, hurt them bad. Send them to prison. I've sent plenty of people to prison. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've taken people out, uh, crooked politicians. What you want to do, you know, I'm glad you said that because, listen, Always bring your video camera with you whenever you go to any of these meetings. Folks, this is an enemy this army. Any means necessary. Hit them, hit them hard. That's right. And this is, hey, it's war. This is war. This is war. I'm not just up here saying it's war. This is war. You know it's. No, any, listen, you don't even want to tell what happened to you because you don't want to scare people. But I mean, just, they are thugs. People should know. This. I think you should go out and experience how they're mafia, folks. Then you'll know how real it is. You know what? The more of us that are on board, the less... Hey, used to, they have. did stuff to you. Now they're on the run. That's right. This is it. You know what? Don't buckle under. Stand up. You can do it. You know, if you, if you're, if you need to work for them, you know, quit that job. If you see people that are doing these jobs and you have some money, you say to them, listen, I'm going to make it possible for you to quit that job so that you can... I, I was in Memphis and I was speaking there and they had the Office of Sustainability uh, director there and I said, I, I said, after you hear my speech, I want you to go in and resign. And I looked at the people in the audience and I said, you know what, if this man goes in and resigns today, you, the community, have to make sure that he is financially okay. This is what we need to do. We need to rebuild real community because this plan destroys community. And by the way, whenever you do the right thing and sacrifice something, doors just fly open mm -hmm. I mean, I mean true. The, the, that's what frustrates me is moving against evil is effective people just don't even think they're in the game I mean they literally aren't even on the field they just think evil has free reign yeah right and you know what we're so isolated from one another and we think that you know what we do as an individual has no power believe me what you do as an individual has tremendous power we are tremendously powerful as why do you think they said we couldn't hand our magazines out anywhere downtown they don't want you spreading the information, and they want to intimidate you. Refuse to be intimidated. No, I just redouble my efforts. That's right. Exactly. This is the answer, is when they push you down, come up twice as strong, twice as hard. This is the thing to do. This is how you beat Isn't it. that just natural? I mean, I don't understand. People are like, wow, you're standing up to them. I mean, they, I mean they're trying to dominate us, people. we got to get angry. Yeah, and you know what? I, once again, I want to say, you know, and it's not like I hate weed or something like that, but I really, I know there's a lot of smokers watching this. Don't allow that passivity to take you over. That block that. Get well, no, that's why they're acting like the new civil rights system. movement is only marijuana because mm -hmm. for most people it does make them passive. It does, and this it lowers men's like, testosterone. It's a perfect drug for the new world order. It makes you totally passive. Object. Fight that. Smoke later. Do your flyers now. You know. Yeah, exactly. People would just keep the dub smoke until nighttime. We'll be right back. Stay with us. <laughs> It's time to go crazy on the New World Order, and they play this social mind game like we're animals, and we go, hey, we don't like world government, we don't like these wars, these drones, these checkpoints, oh, how funny, oh, ha, ha, ha. And, and then the other sheep go, ha, 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 to feel important. I mean, don't be a pathetic chump out there, and I'm talking to new listeners or people who think this is all cool. The globalists are really, really, really bad uh, people who have a very bad plan for society. And I hope you'll get Rosa Corey's book at InfoWarsShop.com or InfoWarsStore.com. Both uh, sites take you there. Behind the Green Mask, You and Agenda 21. My film, End Game, Blueprint for Global Enslavement, made almost seven years ago, is evergreen, more important now than ever, breaking down the rest of the story. She breaks down what they're doing. This tells you where they're going. Uh, I mean, I've read hundreds of their books, so has Aaron. I mean, it's all how they're going to shut everything down and then kill us. I mean, it's just, it's, it's total ultra-Hitlerian. Hitler was one of their students who they then set up and brought down. He was a eugenicist. Let's take more calls here in these final two short little segments. Then I'm going to do some overdrive into the fourth hour uh, to uh, cover some other breaking important information. Uh, but let's talk to Casey in Austin. Casey, thanks for holding. You're on the air with Rosa Corey. 
Hi, Alex. Uh, Rosa, thanks for having me on. I had a quick question for uh, Rosa, and then I just wanted to get you guys' opinion on something, if I may. Sure, go ahead. Okay, um, Council of Foreign Relations and the UN, since you know things like that are kind of intertwined with each other, uh, Rick Warren is a known member of the CFR and Obama's good buddy. He's going around, thousands and thousands of different churches are taking out crosses in the churches, ripping up the carpet, putting Walt Disney, you know, in churches and things like that. How do I approach a preacher? Because bells should be going off that this guy's not good. How do I approach preachers and tell them, hey, you know, what you're doing is not good? Uh, Well, I mean, uh, uh, I've talked to family and friends all over the country where Methodist churches, you name it, are pulling out the cross and saying, we don't worship Jesus anymore. It's bad. And it's a Soviet takeover. And people are now, no, that's not extreme. And the point is, if someone isn't a Christian or isn't religious, that's their issue. We're not even here judging them. It's that it's happening everywhere. Everything's being changed. Everything's being overthrown with a fake liberalism that isn't liberalism. It's a conformist uh, what happened in the Soviet Union or communist China? Uh, Rosa Corey, comments on that. Yeah, you know, if your pastor's out there talking about sustainability, sustainable development, you better go have a chat with your pastor because... Oh, the First Baptist Church right here, or, or, or the First Methodist, teaches sustainability, UN, Bill Gates is our savior. Mm -hmm. They actually right. say Bill Gates is our God. Yeah, and, you know, I, I've done a, quite a bit of research on this, and obviously, you know, when you're looking at um, uh, kind of the, the new Zen... The idea that you want to uh, you want to accept what is, and you want to leave the mind behind. You know, this is separating the mind and the body. So you want to release the mind. This is exactly. So you're out in San Francisco in an area, so you know what it's like. No, it's it's it, the new coolness is to be a chump. Mm -hmm. They actually say, "I want to be a slave." Right. Yeah. You know, and, and I mean, if you look at, uh, I think it's called blue the blue pyramid or something like that. About you know how you're supposed to. Uh, Surround yourself with people who believe the same way that you do. Drink two glasses of wine a day and meditate. And that's what Google does now. It puts you in a little subgroup. It knows your algorithm and then only keeps you in a group that agrees with you. Right. And so you're being, you are actually being manipulated. And so are the churches, your pastors. I, I, We're in a body snatcher level conspiracy. <laughs> totally. I mean, folks, I mean, people that say their life's boring, boring. I know. I mean, unbelievable, unmitigated craziness is going yeah, on. Look in your closet and see if there's a pod in there. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, you know, yeah. I mean, this is really what it's about, and they are subverting religion. They're saying that religion has to take on the ecology model or it will disappear. That's the UN One World Government That's religion right. mm -hmm. that Revelation so talks block about. Block it. Block it. Speak to your pastor. Give them the truth. Yeah, or walk. Go in there, uh, print up a flyer, start handing it out, break that church up. Those preachers say, don't, don't do that. Don't. No, no, no. Those churches are nothing but synagogues of Satan. Jesus was talking to the rabbis about how they really weren't, you know, one particular temple, but wasn't, you know, following, you know, what God has said. So in the Old Testament, so he said, you're of the synagogue of Satan. It's the same thing for these churches, uh, Muslim temples. Uh, I don't care if you're a Hindu, whatever it is, you know, your temple, your church, your synagogue has become a command base of state-run religion, which is corporate-run religion. And so, you know, the point is separation of church and state is the government isn't involved in religion. Now they've turned it around saying you can't have your political views as a religion when you should all have your own diverse ideas. So they've turned it around backwards and are now saying the churches have to conform to what the government says when the First Amendment says Congress shall make no law respecting the establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof and then freedom of the press and so forth. Your take on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is about restrict. This is really about instituting passivity. And, you know, this is exactly the opposite of what you want. When you, when no matter where you go, if you go into your, uh, you know, if you go to worship, it, you should, you should have a pastor who's out there talking about freedom and about um, supporting you as a free individual. And if that's not happening in your church, then you want to find another church. I, I have family locally that went to a church. I've been there many times with my children who had a preacher who was what I'd call a constitutionalist, but, but more towards the, a little liberal, but anti-war, you know, talking about the Bill of Rights. They, they had him retire and brought in a husband-wife team, and it's all Bill Gates is Jesus, basically. Wow, yeah. I mean, it, and it's, but it's everywhere now. It's Baptist churches. It's everything.
Yeah, Bill Gates, you know, isn't that interesting? I mean, he'd probably say he's bigger than Jesus. Take on uh, John Lennon, you know, with uh, basically what are they doing? They are they are getting their little machine, direct instruction. They're getting the machine to every child, you know, so that they can directly speak to the child without anyone interfering. And this is happening everywhere. So, of course, this is their God because the God is in the box. Well, exactly what did Ray Kurzweil said. He said, I don't believe in God yet. I'm going to become God. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, yeah. Connor in Arizona, you're on the air. Thanks for holding. Go ahead, Connor. Hello, Connor. Right. Yes, sir. How you doing, Alex? All right. How you doing, Rosa? Thank you, brother. Go ahead. Hey, I just wanted to point out to you guys, I'm actually a 17-year-old in uh, high school, and uh, I've been meaning to call in for a while, and I'm glad you guys covered this, because last year when I was a sophomore, I took some intro to sociology and psychology classes, and I wanted to let you guys know... They're using the TED conferences as a part of the curriculum mm -hmm, where you have nice. to take notes on the TED conferences. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. And, and then and they get all the smart people there to make globalism and collectivism look cool and, and, and sexy. And, yeah, no, they're forced. And it's all eugenics. Yeah, you know, I'd love to do a TED conference. I'm sure they'd never give me a chance. You know, get me on Amy Goodman or a TED conference. These are things they will never give you that voice. They will never give you that platform. These are people who are actually crafting uh, behavioral modification. And they know they are. This is their this is their role. This I've been around these globalists and they of course of course we're doing behavioral modification and treating the public like a herd of baboons. Mm -hmm. I mean they're there it's but treating you're cool. you. You know, you're hip. Look at Bono. You know, you're hip, you're cool. You're talking about, you know Turns out ninety nine percent of the money he raises he keeps. Oh wow. Yeah, no, that came out. It's, it's actually less than one percent. Talk about cold-blooded, man. Yeah, really. That's something else, isn't it? You know, this is Salvation Army gives about ninety-seven. Yeah, you know what? People who are who are forwarding this plan, there's a huge amount of hypocrisy. There's a huge amount of greed, but that is not at the top of the pyramid. The top of the pyramid is control, control, wild control freaks. Total control. Hey, great point, Connor. Um, just hey, spread the word. Expose Ted as a cult. Okay, do that. Fight back. Good job, Connor. Hey, listen, I know you're going to do the nightly news now with Melissa Melton, uh, an interview. So congratulations on all you're doing, Roseanne. You're going to come back uh, after you speak in Bashroff tomorrow. I'm going to uh, tape some for a film that's coming up. So I just want to thank you for coming out. Uh, Rosa Corey, I get a lot of energy being around you. I think vice versa. Uh, Behind the Green Mask, available right now at InfoWarsShop.com. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want.